So once you have your first set of lines done, um, you're going to want to turn them so that you can do your set, good set of lines. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that your pinholes are gone. Don't panic. What you're going to do now is go ahead and take your pattern again and you're just going to bump it up to your top edge and very carefully with a pin mark each one of your lines. Now this is a little more difficult than what you were doing before because essentially what we're going to be doing is connecting the dots. We're going to mark it at the top and then we're going to go down here and we're going to mark it at the bottom. And you're really going to have to trust yourself and gravity to get those nice straight lines. Now if you're really concerned about it and you don't think you can get it completely straight without some sort of marker in the middle, what you can do is very carefully pick out a middle line and hold your pattern piece like this. Now this usually works a little better if you give your icing a little time to dry. And what you can do is kind of do a compression on the icing itself. Just like this. And that's just going to give you an idea in the middle so you have a little more to aim at. So here we go. Now another thing to remember while you're doing this is that your pipe strings is, is what is holding your run sugar in. So you want to be very careful and make sure you get good adherence onto your fondant with your um, with your piped string and what you're going basically all you're going to need for that is a pin. So same thing applies. Make sure you get a good adherence here at the top. Let gravity help you. Okay. Now, if you'll notice, my string is not touching my fondant at all. It's hanging out there on top. So what I'm going to want to do is just with my pin, I'm just going to want to push it down. And this is just going to make sure that when I put that run sugar in there, it's not going to bleed all over the place. And we're just going to repeat that all the way down the side. 